Mikey. What are you doing? You want to prank Matt? Oh yeah. All right. What is he afraid of more than anything in the world? Channel strikes. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, what's the second most thing he's afraid of in the world? Spiders. Irrelevance. Spiders. Irrelevance. Okay. S spiders. spiders. Okay. Spiders. Okay. Okay. She's afraid of spiders. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I already got an idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna call him out. You go do your thing. Yes. Hey Matt, can I talk to you real quick? Sure. What's up, dude? So uh, you know how we were talking about maybe getting some new. Uh, Stuff for the range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Thinking about getting some new, you know, metal for the range. Ah! 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 Welcome to Demolition Ranch. We got Roman Atwood here. And today we have an interesting gun and an interesting suppressor, but an even more interesting concept. I told Roman I need his help for this one. This is a Wraithworks War Scorp 9. So it's a 9 millimeter pistol caliber carbine. This one's actually an SBR. We have a short barrel here. And then on the end, we have a JK Armament PCX suppressor, which has the baffles that you can, it's modular, so you can put one baffle you can have all the baffles so it all unscrews like that so we can go to the very shortest and we just take the end cap off here which YouTube has graciously said we can show all this now we about to find out they didn't like that at <laughs> first but you can make it shorter which of course wow. if it's shorter like that it's not gonna be nearly as quiet I like how it looks though it looks, it cool looks great like and that. way more easy to move around and it's better than nothing it's better than wide open we're gonna shoot this which I have not shot yet and then I wanna do some suppressor testing. Everyone knows a wet suppressor, if you dip it in water, it's called a wet suppressor, it's quieter. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't, I actually Everyone didn't. knows that. Everybody but me. But I also <laughs> found out when uh, JK Armament came down, they put Vaseline in their suppressors so that when you leave it in your safe, it's technically always wet and it stays wet, so it's always quieter, super wet. And we started thinking like, what else could you stick in a suppressor? Oh boy, <laughs> about to find So out. today we're gonna try some other things that are okay for YouTube and we're gonna uh, put some weird stuff in suppressors and then test to see how loud or quiet it is. But first let's shoot this thing. Let's shoot it. This thing is pretty neat on paper. I haven't actually fired it yet, but it takes Scorpion mags, which is cool. So the CZ Scorpion mags, it is a direct blowback system. It has three different ways to eject the mag. So it has a button there, so it's totally ambi and a button in the normal kind of AR spot, but then also has like an AK looking lever. It doesn't rock in, it's an actual push in mag, but it has a lever right here. So you can pull a mag out in three different ways. The safety is all ambi. Also the bolt release is right here and it's ambi as well. You can also hold it open by pushing that up and drop it just like that. So what's cool about this is and there's also a non-reciprocating charging handle over here on the side but what's cool about this thing is you never have to move your hand to do anything so i can drop it i can lock it open right there and my hand never came off of this 8.5 inch nitrided barrel we have a primary arms red dot so slx md25 on there so a 1x red dot we're gonna shoot it first rounds out of it right here we have full length suppressor on here we are shooting supers out of it Very minor blowback. Shoot it, dude. That's beautiful. See if you can handle Sounds it. Sounds sweet. It does feel pretty good. So just safety like an AR. Wow. Yeah, cool. it's very, very low blowback. Yeah, not bad. Locked open. Let's shoot some subs through it now and see what that sounds like. Subs. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's let's see. I'm shooting the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I shot too many. Here you go. There's a few so left. So quiet. That is really quiet. That is so cool. Ba -ding, ba -doom, ba -doom. Uh, let's try it at 100 yards with subs. That'd be cool sounding. Wow. I pulled that one. <laughs> Would it take so long to get down there? That's so cool. It's because it's a thousand yard range. It's a thousand. Oh, you went to the left one. Hell, I'm way off. Nice. nice. Thing's on. Yeah, you were hitting straight in the middle of it. Take your ears off and shoot it. Oh, yeah. Shooting a nine millimeter that's totally quiet like that is, well, any gun is really satisfying. This seems like a solid gun. I mean, we haven't had a single hiccup. Nope. This is control test. This is a subsonic out of a dry can. I'm gonna be shooting into dirt and we're gonna see how loud it is. Let me go ahead and do one more to get that first round crack out. And we have a camera that is 100 yards that way because it is really hard for people to see here. It's really hard for people to see noise. Yeah, the camera is just kind of always makes it the same level. Yeah, so it doesn't matter like if you shoot something super loud, it's gonna peak the camera just like if you shoot something kind of loud. And so I was thinking maybe we put a camera a hundred yards away, there'll be a difference. We, we don't know. We're trying something new, but we're gonna now get this thing wet, shoot it again, and see if it sounds differently. Nice. So much better oh, weather. Yeah. I can already tell. I love it. It's just better. We got regular old H2O. So our suppressor is dripping wet. Wet. Did that seem quieter? Uh, do another, do another. Dang, it's it, about the same, I think. Yeah, right? it looks cool though, all the water dripping off the falling end, off. just just falling off during that shot. So now we're gonna do Vaseline, which is apparently a way that a lot of people keep their suppressors wet. Basically, the water, the Vaseline, it makes it to where it doesn't vibrate as much, doesn't make the sound carry through as much is my understanding. Is there a proper way to do it? Like the spots you're doing is the proper way? Or I you don't know? I have no idea. Or do you like stuff the hole? I don't think you, you do that. <laughs> just, <laughs> I mean, is there a, I, I really don't a know. method, right? I really just learned about this like two weeks ago. I didn't know people actually val Vaseline their suppressors. They may not. Maybe this guy was just messing with me. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot it in the dirt. Number two. Did that seem quieter to you? All I hear is the, yeah, I mean, I'm hearing. It is quiet. Just the gun. I know that no one's in the comments saying we need a decibel reader, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, why don't you have a decibel reader? Oh, that's a good suggestion. No, <laughs> no one's ever said that before. Listen, here's why we don't have a decibel reader. It's because they don't go exactly, I don't know, I haven't found a good one. Tell me, tell me which one we should buy for guns, because you can find tons of them that go up to like car exhaust, but like we need. Need something that doesn't peek out easy. Yeah, we need something that you can fire a Barrett and it'll tell you exactly how loud that bear it is. That would be sweet. That would be and cool. then buy it for us. <laughs> Next up, a fresh new bottle of Demolition Ranch Gun Lube. Uh, you can put it on your salad or your 1911, whichever you want. We're just gonna kind of pour <laughs> down here. Should I put it on the gun first? Or just pour it like this? I'm, I'll I feel pour like it you gotta ends. get messy with this, dude. Okay. We're just I, gonna, I wouldn't hold back with the ranch. We're just gonna go, oh gosh. <laughs> That's so gross. That doesn't make sense. Uh, I think ranch actually might work. I'm just gonna get it all settled in those last few baffles, and then I'll hold it up and just let it run down the middle. You know? Why are you gonna say it like that? I, I just run said it. I just said it normally. Yeah, it's for sure going down. Just screw it on upside down. You wanna fire the ranch? Good times. Too. I'll do the ranch. All right. All right. One more. It's not pretty quiet to me, dude. Dude, ranch might be you wouldn't the best. you wouldn't hear you coming. Mm -mm. Pretty good. In case of emergency, open lid. Uh, we have some some queso. I think we're just, why wouldn't we? We just give her a dip, right? Yeah, get a nice swirl. Too. Actually, you know what? Let's not let this end cap get in the way. All right, we have a totally clear and open gun. Oh, oh, <laughs> it, w it went in. It went all in there. That's when you need the slow-mo cam, dude. <laughs> Just a big old bleh. I think it's your turn, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 
You're such a guy, man. Mm -hmm. You're such a good guy. All right, here you go. Here's some subs. Go crazy, bro. Mm. It's gonna cover me in cheese. I hope this doesn't kill you. <laughs> oh, you got. I just hold it out. Here we go. We're, we're literally putting barrel blockages in there. Oh, that, that was, was so quiet. quiet. Dude, we did it. Do it again. That was unreal. That Dude, first one. That well, that was even way quieter. You think that was quieter? Yes. And we had another. That sounds like a pellet or quieter than a pellet gun. Wow. Dude, people are gonna be stuffing cheese in their suppressors, bro. You know what's even not? Oh, I wish we had some chips because now it's all warm. <laughs> could eat it. Could eat it off the. <laughs> Just lick it, Roman. Oh. It's probably got a little. Nice and warm now. A little ranch and Vaseline too. Yeah, right. get the chips. See it running on the outside? It's also doing that on the inside right now. <laughs> oh we got baffles all cleaned out. I'm, oh my oh. god. So now I'm thinking peanut butter. <laughs> Can you clean that please? <laughs> I am worried about just sticking the peanut mm. butter, sticking the whole suppressor in the peanut butter because I think that might cause... Nice roadblock. Yeah, cause a little uh, big time explosion. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do it just like uh, we did Vaseline, just one by one. Trying to keep the center kind of clear. Like, not just like totally plugged, you know? Not like a, a brand new suppressor covered in peanut butter, dude. Mm. This is, mm. uh, Takes me back, dude. Yeah. I'm feeling good about this because the uh, the queso was queso quiet. did work really well. It was, I'll be surprised if the camera downrange even hears it. Are you going to start hooking these together I after I get you. them all lubed up? I got you. Oh. oh, you don't have any peanut allergies, do you? Because this is going to spray we, peanut butter everywhere. That's offensive, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, this is how they should come. <laughs> just why, coat it with peanut butter. Why not come with the most silence? Yeah, they just start coming packed in queso. The peanut butter does help lube up the threads though. It makes it not squeak and stuff. It probably won't get like wrench tight either. Yeah, I like that it like kind of squeezes out in between each baffle. You know what though? We should probably put a little coating on the outside of it just to... You had to really seal the... vibration. The, yeah. Seal the cracks. Should have got some jelly, dude. Yeah. We could have done jelly on the... Peanut butter and jelly suppressor. <laughs> this is gonna work. I feel like this one's gonna work really well. Yeah, really seal it up. Like it's, it's like our own Loctite, you know. Remember when Demolition Ranch used to be a good channel? Respect I don't want to say channel. like the ideas are getting low. But <laughs> you, know, you ever heard the more normal than you ever heard the <laughs> bottom of the barrel expression? Oh dang! That's where we are right there. This feels like some OG Demo Ranch content though. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of stuff I actually like to do. I don't like gun reviews. I like peanut butter suppressors. If, if anything, it looks cool. <laughs> okay, that was quiet. That was very quiet. Dude, we're on to something, dude. dude. I'm telling you, there's something about the thickness. One more, in the dirt. Peanut butter for the win. It's warming up. Getting oh, all goodness. shiny. Can you imagine like this in your nightstand? You know, you just come out and you just got this gross peanut butter suppressor. Get back! We're out, dude. That first one was dumb quiet. Okay, I just wanna see how much peanut butter's still in here. It feels kinda heavy. I mean, yeah, it stayed coated after all 10 of those shots. There's still a lot of peanut butter. All right, we're gonna clean it up. Move to the next test. Mm -hmm. So this would be for somebody with a peanut allergy you would use the oh. peanut butter suppressor. So if like you don't hit anything vital, they go into anaphylactic they, shock. They... <laughs> <laughs> Tacos, right? This is what's coming out of these Next these baffles. up, shit just, suppressor. Just black and brown, it's gross. Next up, we were thinking like, what if we, instead of dipping it in water, we dipped it in actual gasoline? I was thinking the same thing. That seems logical, right? Everyone yeah. was wondering if gasoline would work. Okay, so we have 93 octane, you know? The good, stuff. the good stuff. You know, it's nice because we were washing off the ranch and peanut butter as the well. Gasoline probably will take that peanut butter and it'll just get all the oil out of there. The Vaseline, the ranch, the peanut butter. Ooh, baby, I love it. She's saturated, yeah, I dude. Think, I think I'll get you some rounds. We'll send it. I won't be straightforward with you. She's wet. <laughs> you should get further away from the, the bomb on the ground. Yeah, go for it. And hold it away from your head in case it throws flames at you. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna stick. I really have no idea. Ready? Yep. Oh, it definitely sprayed gas. It definitely got spackled. <laughs> Safely spackled. But I think I saw a little spark too. Really? All right, try it again. No, if it sparked, that whole thing would be in flames. Okay, then I'm wrong. 
All right, dip it again and shoot instantly. Okay. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> Just want to thank Matt for the invite. Remember that time before Roman burned himself? Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Wait, 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 wait! We don't have any more subs. <laughs> Let's try a super, maybe? Oh, there's gasoline back in here. It's like permeating through the gun. Keep it this way, huh? Yeah. That's not good. All right, here, knock that uh that round out, and we'll get you some supers, and we'll try it again. So maybe with supers, it will throw more fire in the barrel and light it. And light the whole gun on fire. I'm waiting for it. And light catch the whole fire. gun and Roman all on fire. Here you go. I have gas on me. You want me to shoot it? Look, I'll stand right behind you. I'm here. I think I really would go further away from the jar of gasoline. I'm nervous, but we got water. Let's put you out right away. Okay, ready? I guess. How? You know what I forgot to even think about was, is it even quiet? Was that other one quiet? I don't even know. <laughs> I was too scared attention. that we were going to catch on fire. All right, let me try this thing. Yeah, the main concern is that the gun's saturated, the gun is, so if there is a fire, yeah, the really whole cool. gun's going. Let's just light it on fire. Let's try napalm. We made napalm, AKA the forbidden queso. I thought it would just kind of run down, but it's definitely not going to. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pack it like that much in each one. Is that how the gun explodes? The last Demolition Ranch episode. Oh my God. Hey, you guys remember that channel, Demo Ranch? What happened to that guy? Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, he put- He burned his whole place down. <laughs> First he put queso in there and that didn't work. So he got napalm. It looks quiet. Wait, are you gonna try to shoot through it? It's your turn. I just shot. It's your turn. I just shot the gas, bro. Suppressor full of napalm. And surrounded by napalm. It was quiet. It was quiet. All right, let's try supers. It's all falling off. And now super. Oh, that just shot a chunk of stuff out. Fired this napalm out of the barrel. It's not on fire. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. I, that's not going to work. Actually, let's light, on, light on fire. Yeah. Fire. I'm sure about this. Definitely sure. All right, let's see what we got. Hit it. Oh. Oh, that's nasty. We still have napalm in there too. Ready? Oh, so what if it throws it? I was really hoping it would do that with the bullets, but you know, we had to improvise a little bit. Hey, let's actually run. I don't know if it made any difference back there, but let's run from the faraway camera all the shots in a row and we'll label them to see if there's any difference when you hear them side by side. It's obviously very clear that napalm is the best way to shoot your suppressors. Well, that's debatable. Um, I don't know that it made it any quieter. I think, was, was peanut butter? I think queso was the best one, right? Uh, queso was the easiest to apply and it did silence it a lot. Easier to clean too. It was easier peanut to clean peanut butter. Peanut butter is not fun to clean. I bet napalm's not fun to clean either. Well, it kind of cleans itself eventually. Yeah, just let it burn. Go check out Roman Atwood, link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate Wraithworks and JK Armament and Primary Arms for helping us make this video possible. Thank you guys for watching the Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh, you go Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>